everyone. This is just a quick video for people that haven't been on my page in a while that might have lost me and found me again or knew where I was and decided to drop in and see how things are. This is just a quick kind of update thing. Yes, I look very different. I have dropped about 60 pounds in the past year. I had a gastric sleeve surgery. I was very, very depressed and very self-hating, hated my life, hated everybody, hated everything. And I, out of the blue, just spoke to my doctor and asked uh, for reference if I could possibly be considered for funding for gastric sleeve. And I was forwarded to them and they did their thing and I actually was accepted and so yeah March 26 2015 I had my surgery I started off at about almost 230 pounds about 105 kilos and now I'm sitting at 70 75 kilos and uh, it's about 165 pounds I believe I'm not quite sure on that one and so yeah I I'm a lot happier. I'm a lot more positive. I've pretty much reinvented myself again, rethought my life and didn't like who I was, how I was coming across, how angry and just aggro I was all the time. And so I'm very careful now how I handle myself, how I talk to people. I still stay very true to my beliefs, but I try to be a, a lot more respectful to other people. So you won't find my old bitchy videos anymore. I've hidden them all, got rid of them. This is a whole new channel anyway. When I first had the surgery and was losing weight before I moved, because we've also moved house, I was still a bit angry because people were still trying to fuck with me. And I was, I, I am very protective of my life and I am very protective of what I'm trying to do with my life, trying to improve stuff. I think I've taken great steps to improve my life and repair the problems in my personal life and online and for somebody to go and still nitpick really I have no patience for that and so some of my post-op but before now videos I might come off as still quite a bit angry and it wasn't that I was angry it was just that I was you know no nonsense you know what this is not happening you are not taking my happiness from me very firm and to the point uh, that's about all it was um, I still do have opposing views on a lot of things. I don't voice those views for the most part. I did voice one the other day about breastfeeding in public and even though I tried really hard to be respectful and to word myself very well, people still came at me. Oh, you lost a subscriber. Oh, I can't believe you said that. Well, why is this okay? And like still trying to cause trouble even though I was really trying to not be a bitch about it. I'm not gonna go overboard trying to censor myself because people can't handle the fact that somebody else has a difference in opinion. If you can't handle that not everybody likes the same things or thinks the same thinks the same way, then you have a problem, not me and not everybody else. My problem and my side to work on is how I convey my feelings across, which I try to do the best that I can. If you want to take it personally, then that is really on you. And I don't have time to coddle you or to be like, I'm so sorry. I don't mean anything personal to you. Just I take back everything I said. I'm not going to be like that. I said it for a reason. I said it because that's how I feel. And if you don't like it, well, I'm sorry. Tough. You know, you can, you can respectfully disagree with me. I won't come down on you for it. Just you don't have a right to come and try to attack me and say, well, your tits are always hanging out. So why is it okay for you? I, I might have cleavage showing, but my nipples are covered and I'm not in public saying like, Hey, look at me. I'm a woman. You must acknowledge me. And people are completely skipping over the fact that that's what I have a problem with. But this isn't a breastfeeding video. I said everything perfectly in that video and I'm not going to go over it again. But I know that something else is probably going to come up in the future. When it comes up, I will again do my best to word it very respectfully and non-abusively and I know people are going to still come at me and this is what I do have issue with. But again, if you're coming here and you haven't seen me in a while, my body's changed, my mind has changed, 
I care more about my appearance. So I actually have eyebrows now, though I still draw on over them because they haven't grown back fully and not in the right place as I knew was going to happen. So I have a little bit of hair under there. And I take better care with my makeup now because I actually give a shit. I've uh, gotten a lot more tattoos and probably will still continue getting more. And yeah, don't really have much to say. Everything you need to know is here on my channel, in my channel. Just bear with me. I'm, I'm always trying to improve myself and you can take it or leave it. Uh, a lot of people don't even work half as hard as I have to try to make their lives better. And if that works for them, that's fine. It's just being this angry person hasn't worked for me. I thought it did and I thought that's what I liked and who I liked being, but now that I feel so much better, it's a huge weight off my shoulders not to act like that. And I look back at the way I used to act and I'm actually really ashamed of myself. I never saw it before. I never thought that I was that harsh, but I actually was kind of a bitch. And I do hope that old people from the past have come and find me now because I'd much rather you know me as I am now than you know me as I was then. And I guess that's all I have to say. Thanks for being here fresh. Thanks for being here old. Either way, uh, you're dedicating your time to watching me. And so that's, that's really flattering and it's nice. And I just, I hope to see you guys soon. Let me know if you guys have just found me again and if you still hate me or if you don't hate me and I don't care. Just uh, take care and I'll, I'll see you in other videos. Bye-bye.